Okay, same as usual. Who wants to get us started? Hello. How are you feeling with the trophy in your hands? <laughs> nah, it's, it always is good to win. I am so pleased again with the performance and the work from the player, from the staff. I, I think, yes, it's, it's busy time, but I think we are doing a, a good job. I think congratulate to the player and the staff because never easy, four games. And to, in a very short period of time, and now we need to play in Chicago against Dortmund. I think we need to continue and yes, uh, keep going and preparing the, the team to arrive in the best condition for the start of the, the Premier. It feels like there's been a lot of positives for you, but probably one of the main ones is your, your new players, your new attackers getting on the score sheet, and it looks like really getting to know their teammates very well. Yes, of course. I think we are working hard to try to. You know, to create this dynamic that all become natural and to share time together. I think the tour help, you know, to, to know each other. And I think, yes, uh, that is good that they feel well, that they, they feel already part of the, of the team and the group, and they share a lot of time together. I think, yes, it's a thing that always is important because you need to start the Premier League in a good condition, knowing each other and, and trying to fight for each other. You know, it's to, to create a real team that capable to go and to face uh, opponent that they are, you know, already built like Liverpool, City, and, and different different teams like this. We never got a chance to speak to you yesterday because of the the, the storm. Um, we're going to ask you about your new signing, Leslie, midfielder. No, I still I didn't I didn't know nothing because. Um, I didn't see, no time to, to speak, to talk, and yes, uh, yes, I have the, the the new, but still I cannot say nothing, you know. Okay. Okay, guys. So Liam. Hi, Marcia. Um Again, it's not been confirmed yet, but we heard today that Chelsea are signing another defender, um, Axel Dzaski. Um, but more broadly. You have more news than, than me. <laughs> <laughs> but more broadly, is centre back a position that you feel you could use another option because of uh, Wesley's injury and how serious that is? No, I, I think it's not a big issue. Ah, it's just too many games in a short period. Like I told you, the conditions are tough, it's not easy. But I think it was more precaution that. Than the, 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 the hope. Eh? Hope is not a big thing. That is the first information. Now we need to assess him in the next few days. Sorry, Mitch, I just wanted to ask you said in the past that you needed an experienced midfielder and you needed more players in certain positions and maybe you have too many in other positions. Is central defender a position that you do need a player in? Well, for fun, I think I think it's obvious that maybe we need to. You know, reinforce this this area. It's, uh, I think it's, it's clear, no. Yeah, and I guess also with, with midfield, if you had a 19-year-old, is is that okay? You know, you wanted an experienced one, and, and maybe that's quite. Enough. I think we are still talking about that. We need an experienced midfielder. Yes. On top of the the one we might think that's coming to Chelsea. Mm, well, but you know, I don't know the information that you have. <laughs> My information is is a player that. Uh, is from France that maybe they are signed with the idea uh, to maybe to to send on loan, you know, using different club. But that was the information was already in your in your uh, in your laptop. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's nothing to, to say too much. You know. Go to Tom. Marcia, can I just check on Trevor Chalabar? Yes, yeah, so okay. I hope it's not a big issue. Uh, only we need to assess now. Now is. Doesn't mean that it's big. The, the thing it's only was, I think, caution, was a caution or precaution, you know. Um, but I think it's, uh, we need to assess in the next few days and see. But I don't, we don't believe this big thing. We think hope, hope also. And last time we spoke to you, you were talking about the balance of the squad. Some areas there were lots of players. Some areas not so many players. How many do you think you need to come in? To have a balanced squad? I don't know, because if I say some numbers, after, you know, I can create a problem. <laughs> I remember some problem in the past, uh, in the Premier League. And 
You know, I think it's also for me it's, it's important. You know, the, the 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 club is working really hard to try to, to improve all the areas. I think we can learn the player that we want and and the right profile and to add to the squad to to make it stronger. I think we are going to to do and. In that way, I think the club is working really hard to try to find that profile. Okay, give us one question each, please, and I'll get around. I'm going to go Adrian in a few moments. Uh, Mauricio, going back to Jackson and Nkunku, you obviously got a good, good amount of goals from them uh, in America so far. You, would you be okay to start the season with just those two? Would you be looking for maybe another sort of attacking player? To increase your goal well, today, today, I think we are happy with their performance, and I think they, they can complement very really well. Um, Yes, of course. Or maybe we can, like I, I was talking before, we we are able to the club to add some different profile or different uh, player that can help us. Of course, we are open. But I am I am so happy with with both at the yeah. moment. And then yes, we have you know younger like today Mason and and of course Broja in 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 UK. You know, still recovering from his injury. Yes, we need to analyze it now in the next uh, few weeks until you know the end of the transfer window. We will take the best decision for the for the for the team. Okay, Hola, Mauricio. Hola. Enzo Fernandez, another trophy for him. Uh, how special it is to have a World Cup champion with you and with his winning mentality? Do you think it's going to help him this season? Thank you. Well, always it's a pleasure. Uh, you know, I think he's very humble. He's uh, a fighter also, and, and he's just a fantastic player, world, world champion. And with Argentina, I feel so proud. You know, I am Argentino also, and you know, I share the, the happiness when they won the the World Cup. Yes, yeah, always a pleasure when you have in your, you know, in your squad a player like him. We're going to go to Ben to finish off. Hi, Mauricio. Hi, Thiago, and Reese lifted the trophy. Was that your decision? Their decision, and if it was your decision. No, because in the first half was Thiago, and the second half was Riz, both captain. You know, today they lift the trophy. Is that a clue that the shortlist is down to two? <laughs> yes, of course, they, they have the option also <laughs> to, to be captain. Yes. Last question, uh, Maurizio. You played Ian Matson in this whole tournament a little more higher up in the pitch. Is that where you see long term future, or is he going to compete for left back? Well, I think, yeah, and uh, I told before, I think, yeah, and. Uh, have the capacity, you know, to, to fit for different places on the on the pitch. He's uh, um, a player that can you can use in different positions. I'm so happy because you know he, it's not his performance uh, didn't change using you know in different position. That is what makes us very pleased because he's a he's a player that I think we see with a enormous enormous potential you know for for the team for the club